Greetings and thanks for dropping by for the latest edition of Mentor Mike's Market Movie. Today is Friday, November the 2nd, 2012. And uh, as you can see, we're all set up for a replay here. But uh, let's take a look at some charts and uh, kind of dissect what went on earlier this week. Now, this little bit of clip art is in honor of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, as you may recall, um, the S&P was closed on Monday, um, and uh, so there was no chart to look at. And it was also closed on Tuesday, but on Tuesday I decided to trade the 6E. The 6E is the futures version of the Forex currency pair, the Euro versus the US dollar. This is a three minute chart of the 6E. And as you can see, uh, we had some four trades here, all of which were successful. Um, these two, of course, were with the trend. This one was counter trend based on some divergence. I didn't mark it, but you can see here that from this high to this high, the price went up, but we had a slight downslope on the uh, MACD, so that's why I took this, and I did manage to hit the first target. And then over here, we could kind of make the argument that we had a one, two, three top, plus we were also uh, kind of overdue for a turning point. So uh, we have uh, a one, two, three. The three did not quite take out the one. And this is reflected in both the MACD and the stochastic. So got short here and wrote it all the way down. That was Tuesday. And here's Wednesday, Halloween. Um, basically, it was a big drop down and then a gentle move up. And there was uh, a pretty good sell-off right at the end that could have made some points there, but I was uh, that was a bit too close to the uh, the end of the day, so I bowed out on that one. Um, very straightforward. Uh, we broke below the trend-defining moving average and dropped down nicely. Uh, and when you're this far away from the trend definer, you can pretty well guess that when this thing bottoms out, it's going to work its way back to the vicinity of this downsloping trend-defining moving average before it you can really tell what's going to happen. So uh, I knew that this was a pretty safe bet uh, on the long side here. Okay, and then this is uh, Thursday, November the 1st. We had a couple of uh, great long trades here, in first in the pre-market and then right after the open. There was a little bit of divergence here uh, from this high to this high that was reflected on both MACD and stochastic. So when the, the parabolic flipped, uh, I went short, and I think we hit at least two targets on this. Um, could have gotten long again on these two moves, but um, something came up and I was uh, busy doing some other thing, uh, and I neglected to mark it with the yellow arrow. So we could have had a couple of trades here, but instead uh, I called it quits here at about 11. And uh, but this this was also a successful day, and then here is today. Um, we are clearly going lower, as you can see, um, and this is the day we're gonna gonna replay just for the uh, sake of convenience. Here didn't really have anything else too um, uh, exciting to talk about, so we might as well take the easy road. Um, here is. Our turning point day and uh, over here is Friday and you can see we had a high low high and then there was some pre-market action and then the market closed uh, and then the pre-market opened again on Tuesday and then was closed for the day session we finally reopened uh, on Wednesday and finished out the week and over here um, on the right hand side is Friday this is the day we're going to uh, replay and as you can see, the last definite turning point on Thursday was a low. So we were uh, kind of figuring that our first turning point uh, on uh, this day was going to be a high. Uh, it was kind of iffy. We could have had a high here, and we didn't know whether the whether we'd go lower or go higher before we um, uh, changed direction. 
and uh, we were already uh, above this high uh, at the time of the open. So it was just a question of whether or not we were going to go a little bit higher or, or sell off. And we did go higher, as you can see, before we finally uh, took a dive. So uh, with that in mind, let's go forward now and uh, start our replay Friday, uh, November the 2nd here. And we're uh, going to be starting at 4 a.m. The green line is at 6.30 Pacific time when the New York Stock Exchange opens. This is our closing line at 1.15. And these are our three suggested delta turning points. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's bring in the, the control panel and get started. Okay, notice our um, trend defining moving average, the dashed green line is pretty flat and the red is uh, pretty close to it. It's a little bit below, now it's above. Um, it's going to be kind of undulating around. Uh, so we need to kind of wait and see how this thing's going to break out. Um, we've got the longer term MACD rising, uh, the shorter term MACD falling, the stochastic is uh, kind of uh, overbought here. So a lot of mixed signals. We have to wait until we kind of get a feel for what's going to happen here. And we can probably bump it up just a tad. Okay, now the stochastic is starting to drop, as you can see. The price is not dropping all that much, however. It's kind of hitting support in the vicinity of the trend-defining moving average. And notice that we've got the stochastic bouncing off the uh, oversold zone and starting to rise here. We break above that red, which we're just about ready to do here. I am going to consider going long. Now, notice that we've got some pretty solid support in the form of a very horizontal trend defining moving average. The red is solidly above it, and the price is ready to flip that parabolic. So let's go ahead and get long. and see what happens. Ooh, and there it goes. Yeah, we kind of got uh, we hit a couple targets and then were stopped out. Um, this was the reaction to the unemployment rate report that came out at 5.30 Pacific time. And uh, so let's shrink that back up a bit. Now what we could do is drop this down to a one minute chart and see if we get any kind of opportunity to get back in on the long side. Okay, we got the stochastic coming down. Let's see if we get it turning around. Yes, we do. Okay, now Notice our white has stayed up the whole time. Blue is curving back around. Price dipped down below and is now coming back. Um, and our stochastic is above its parabolic again. So let's go ahead and get long. Drop this back. And uh, now that we have that entry, I'm going to go back to the three-minute chart. 
And as you can see, it doesn't look nearly as obvious on this time frame. There was no appreciable dip on the stochastic or on the price, but it showed up much nicer uh, on the one minute chart. So that's one of the reasons why we do that. Uh, okay, now let's add our next arrow and see what happens. Okay, we got stopped out, but we picked up a few hundred more bucks here. Let's pull this a little closer to where we were stopped out. Okay, now we are into the regular day session and notice that we have something of a one two three top here one two three did not take out the one we're starting to sell off here now the um, faster MACD is breaking below the um, upsloping signal line of the longer MACD um, and uh, we've got a bit of a hook on the stochastic. Let's start it up again and see if we can get a little closer to a, a drop out of the... out of the overbought zone. Like right about there. Okay. Now Gonna get short. Okay, all three targets hit. Now we could have dropped down to the one minute again to look for some entries. Let's just pause it for a minute here and see what that would have looked like. Well, as you can see, we get these um, pops above the, the white moving average that are much more visible here. But we're already pretty far down here, so I think we're going to uh, just stick to the three minute, not get too over the top here with trying to get every last opportunity. Uh, okay, let's start the data up again. When I traded this live, I did one trade in each direction today, so we'll kind of stick with that.
this um, pale blue moving average is the equivalent of the 144 trend definer but on the 13 minute chart I watch my 13 minute chart over here but we won't bother with it right now okay we're getting close to a bullish crossover on the faster MACD let's look for a cross on the stochastic coming out of the oversold zone okay pretty much have the cross on the MACD notice our blue is not really above the white yet though on the moving averages keeps coming down there to kind of retest that support zone Just about out of the oversold zone there now. Yep, there we go. And we're breaking above the red. Notice that our faster MACD stayed bullish the whole time. Now, we're clearly going against the longer MACD. That's the white under the red. But there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be a little corrective bounce here. If this thing is changing direction and going under the trend definer, which it appears likely to do, then... Uh, after the break, we're going to get a retest of this area before it sells off again. That happens all the time. Crosses the moving average, goes a short distance, comes back up, retests it, and then sells off. Happens all the time. It'll probably happen again today. But hopefully there's enough movement here to the upside where we're going to be able to uh, capture uh, at least the first target. So let's go ahead and get long. Well, we may have waited a bit too long. In fact, I'm going to close that out because this thing is dropping. So we took a bit of a loss there. Let's pause that. When I got in for real, I'm sure it must have been down here further because I did hit the first target, but I don't think that's in the cards for us today. So 
this is a loser. The color of dried blood. All right, now we got a crossover here. And we're coming out of the overbought zone here. So let's get short and see if we can break through this support zone. My best guess is we will. Okay, now let's start her up. Well, the white is under the red. That's a good sign. Okay, finally we're starting to get something here. Okay. So, all three targets hit. And let's see if we get another opportunity. Watch that stochastic. And the price is above the white. Now yeah, it's starting to drop below it right there. Stochastic hasn't really curved yet, but the fact that the price is going in that direction looks pretty good. Now, notice that price has uh, got above the white and now it's come back below the white. Let's slow it down a little bit. What we might want to do is see about adding to this position. The stochastic is, has gone south, and our main MACD, the long strong one, has stayed bearish the whole time. And there we go. Yeah, 
that, I think that's going to do it for us today. So let's just run out the clock. I could have made a little bit more on that. Okay. So, almost three grand, 2987.50. And I do believe we probably dropped about 800 on this thing. So, uh, we'd had. Uh, better than 3,000 easily if we'd gotten in a little quicker. Um, notice that if we'd gotten in uh, right when the blue crossed the white, um, either based on this or based on the MACD or based on this cross on the stochastic, I'm fairly certain we would have had enough movement there to at least have hit the first target. But we got in at just about the worst possible place there. Um, so that happens sometimes, but we made up for it, as you can see. Now, as far as the turning points are concerned, we knew that we were going to probably have a high at the beginning, and so this is the highest high, but if we mark it inside the, the day session, it's going to be over here. And this is quite possibly um, the low. We don't know. Um, we won't know what happens until we see the market open uh, next time. But uh, let's do this. We'll put a question mark. And then this is a low. We'll leave that in a smaller font and make it white. And this is a high, also white. Now, this, if the market goes lower, and we have a new low on Monday, then this one gets disqualified, and instead we have a high, low, and an early high here. So we'll have to wait and see what transpires. But this is basically uh, how it played out today, except uh, we did have the loser there. But we ended up uh, doing all right, and that's pretty much the bottom line is what it's about. So thanks for coming by. Catch us next time. Everybody have a good weekend.